Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful week. We have a few announcements for you here at Trinity this week. First of all, um, we'd like to let you know uh, where we are with our mask protocol here at Trinity for our worship services. Um, What the executive team decided for this week is to keep masks just while we enter and while we're moving around in worship. So uh, when you're seated, When you're singing, any time like that, if you're vaccinated, feel free to remove your mask, and this will be the last week that we'll do that. And part of the reasoning was just to continue to protect some of the children that um, are not able to be vaccinated. But then starting on Father's Day weekend, that's Sunday the 20th, if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask at all. So, hallelujah, that's really great news. We will continue to follow that this week, and then moving forward. Um, No masks um, if you're comfortable and vaccinated. Of course, if you're not comfortable being in worship for whatever reason, we will have all of our services continue to be streamed online for you. And for those who are still going to be in person, we're going to continue to have social distancing for the next few weeks. We have our um, rows marked off every other row. Um, Our deacons will continue to wear masks and gloves when they give out communion, but we will go to just handing them out and without the tables. We think that will speed things up a little bit. And we will continue, of course, to sanitize, to fog everything in between services. That's something that we will continue on um, in the foreseeable future, just so that you know that as well. Um, Just one other announcement. Uh, This Saturday, we don't have a Saturday service. Um, Through the summer, we decided not to do that. Um, but we may reevaluate that this fall. So for this weekend, we just have our normal worship services Sunday at 9 and then our contemporary at 11. So we hope that you'll join us. We hope that you're having a wonderful week and staying cool with the hot weather out there. Have a wonderful week and God bless. Hey guys, Dave Merritt, Youth and Family Ministries Director with just a couple announcements this week. First, our Sunday school announcement, we will have praise and worship with Miss Jess. Yes! And also, one youth group announcement for this week. Just a reminder that we are now on our summer schedule. The next J-Fire event will be on Sunday, June 27th for the Food Truck Service Day. I'm Dave Merritt. Have a great week! Hey, Trinity. Uh, This is Ben Lander, Outreach Director. And Mary Kay Coughlin. Uh, food ministry director right. and we're here to give you our announcements we're doing the food truck um, this time we're doing it at the end of the month and uh, and things are going to be a little different so just to remind you about that packing has moved from uh, Saturday before delivery to the Thursday before delivery so that's Thursday June 24th it'll be after the food closet shift so that's about 5 15 5 30 to 7 p.m. I think it'll take, um, and we need about eight people to help. So if you're interested in that and that's a good time for you, please let me know. Uh, you can email me. And then on Saturday the 26th, again, just as a reminder, <clears throat> the day of the event that we're going to have, the cookout in conjunction with Breathe 37.9, uh, we need uh, four to five people that morning. So if you're an early riser and would like to come meet us here around 8 o'clock, in the morning, uh, we could use some people from 8 to 10 to help us load the truck so that we're ready to go over to um, to breathe, 37.9, for the shift. Uh, that we have two shifts over there that yeah, same we're, day. And we're going to have, yeah, two shifts. Um, just, you didn't mention it, but the address for yeah. breathe, 37.9, uh, is 2124 Nuttall Avenue. That's in Edgewood. Mm-hmm. So just want to make sure we say that. Um, and our two shifts are from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And so that's going to include setup before the event actually starts and a couple hours in. And then the second shift will be from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., which will include the end of the event and also coming back to the food closet to help us unload um, anything that's left over. Yep. And then uh, the following day, that Sunday, uh, the 27th, we will have our normal, what's become normal for our Sunday food truck. We'll meet over at the food building uh, here at Trinity at 1245 after church, and we'll repack the, the truck, and then we will go over to our, our other Edgewood location, um, well, for this month, the Edgewood location, and that's the Woodbridge Homeowners Association. And we will be there from 1.30 to 3.30. And we'll need a couple people, you know, four, four to five people that would be willing to come back with us to the 
food closet to help us unload that truck mm-hmm. and, and get it all swept out so somebody can return it to the rental place. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So if you're willing to help at all with any of that, we certainly would appreciate it. And uh, again, thank you for all of your support. Amen. Have a great week. Hey, this is Lori Hinman, your Life Teams Director here at Trinity, and I just wanted to, um, actually, I need to have a bunch of announcements for you today. Um, I have a bunch of different various ministries here that I am in charge of, so we'll start with women's stuff first. First of all, don't forget about Paint Day uh, coming up next Saturday, yes, next Saturday, the 19th in the morning, 9.30 to 11.30. Um, don't forget we're doing those flip flop slate crafts and uh the cost is thirty dollars includes all your supplies plus breakfast um come on out and have some fun with us it's going to be great you don't have to have any kind of um artistic artistic experience at all um it's done with stencils and the guidance of a local artist so it's going to be a great time and um something to do to get together with other women and uh reconnect with people so uh email me uh, or respond on our Facebook page uh, under the event, and uh, we'll get you set up for that. Don't forget about our retreat uh, in October. I know that's a long way away, but um, we do need to know if you're thinking about coming. If you're on the fence, um, let me know that so that I can put you down as a like a tentative and check back with you later. I know that some people um, are not making plans that far out just because of how crazy things have been. But um, if you're a maybe, just if you'd let me know, that'd be perfect. Um, okay. And then third thing for women's is that uh, we're going to start a new Bible study. It's called, it's not supposed to be this way. And it's by Lisa Turkhurst. Uh, she's a well-known Christian uh, writer and she's done a bunch of uh, Bible studies. This one is about disappointment and how things in your life don't turn out the way you thought they were going to. And I think this is a great post COVID study. I think it's gonna be awesome. Um, It's a chance for you to get together with women. We're gonna do it via Zoom uh, because we wanna make sure that um, the the conversation is is, uh, done well. So we wanna make sure that that, uh, there's no lag time or anything between people who are in the building and people who are not. So Zoom only, Um, there's a book and a workbook And if you need information on that, you can go to our Facebook page under events, and I'll put that link for Amazon up there. You can order your book. It will start Tuesday, June 22nd. So that's not this coming Tuesday, but the Tuesday after, um, seven o'clock on Tuesdays. And uh, we'll run at least six weeks, maybe seven if we get a little behind, but it should be, we should be done by uh, beginning of August. Tuesday night, seven o'clock, Zoom, Uh, look for the link. Uh, Let me know if you're gonna join us, that way I'll make sure you uh, for sure have the link that you need. And then a couple other things. Okay, so this is um, regarding Bible studies, but not just for women. This one is uh, just for men. The books of uh, one and first and second Kings, our Tuesday night men's group is doing that study. And you can contact Bill Schaefer for that information at bschaefer at trinityjapa.org. And then the other thing is that we're excited. Pastor Jay and Pastor Chuck are going to get together and lead, uh, co-lead a study on the book of Philippians. And they're going to start on uh, Thursday evening, June 24th. They're going to go for six Thursdays, which will put you right at the end of July, Uh Thursday evening is at seven o'clock. So that's co-led by both pastors and uh, it's going to be online and in person. So you can choose either option. Again, look for that link. Um, If you uh, could let me know, that'd be great that if you're going to be attending, I'll make sure you get uh, connected with that study. And then the last thing, um, one of my areas is also small groups. So uh, we're going to have a small group Bible study Uh, that's going to go along with the sermon series in uh, late July, early August. So small group leaders, you'll be getting some of that information. It's called Binge Reading the Bible. Kind of cool. Just to get your your group used to meeting. Again, I know some groups have taken a a break, obviously, during COVID, but we want to make sure your groups get back together. 
Um, the other groups right now that are getting back together are three of our activity and uh, social groups. So the quilters, they are starting back in the building next Monday, which is the 17th, no, 17th, maybe not, 14th, <laughs> sorry, 14th. And um, they are going to start putting their quilts together. But the first thing they have to do is they have to process all this material that has come in over the past year. And it's a lot. So they're gonna need some help with that. So if you can help sort material, cut material, um, you know, stack material, fold material, that kind of stuff, um, they're gonna start on Monday morning at nine o'clock and they are gonna go until um, noon. They usually have a break. They uh, have some tea and coffee and some uh, downtime and that kind of thing. We're gonna work in the old narthex. So the old heritage hall, the little hallway narthex that used to be the, the main narthex, um, that's where we're gonna do that. If you wanna help with that, could you email me at lhinman at trinityjapa.org. They'd love to grow their little group of quilters, um, wonderful dedicated women that have been doing this for years and years and years. And um, they have, they put together hundreds of quilts each year and donate them to local charities. So um, if you can iron, if you can cut, if you can tie yarn, if you can sew, um, there's so many different ways that you can help that organization, that little group. So if you wanna help them, let me know. Um, that would be great. I'll connect you with one of the three co-leaders that we have, um, Echo Griffin, uh, Margie Handy and uh, Rose, uh, Gaunts and they co-lead that so we, I can connect you with those three. Uh, the good timers are going to start meeting. This is our group for like 60 plus sort of like that. This group's been together for a while, always open for new people to join. Um, they're going to meet. They usually, uh, in the past, they've always met the fourth Sunday of the month. Uh, they usually meet for lunch or an activity, but right now we're just going to start with a meal and uh, get everybody back together and reconnect. So Sunday, June 27th uh, at noon, and I will be announcing that location very soon, but put that date on your calendar. Good timers, Sunday, June 27th at noon. The Sunshine Ladies, that's our widows group. They usually meet the third Thursday of the month and they're gonna start meeting as well. So the third Thursday in June is actually next Thursday. June 17th. <clears throat> Again, we're going to keep it simple for the first meeting just to reconnect. We're going to do lunch and I'm going to announce that location very, very soon. Um, for those folks, I am going to send out a postcard as well because I know some of those folks don't do email uh, or the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and mail out a postcard with the time um, and the location at a local restaurant. Uh, but put those dates on your calendar and um, I hope to see a bunch of you at the paint day. Uh, we're gonna have fun with that and uh, it'll just be something, be a change of pace. And again, just a way to reconnect and have some social time with a bunch of women. All right, finally, that's all I have for today. Uh, you have a good weekend. I'll see you on Sunday, bye.